I, I ripped a kid. I ripped a kid for his Charizard card, man. To this day, I feel bad. <laughs> I gave I gave him twenty five <laughs> stickers for his oh, Charizard card. Wow. Not even twenty five dollars. Twenty five stickers. You dragons, then by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Hope the future generations can get this urge. Stay woke, youngin, and avenge these nerds. Uh. What's up, guys? It's your host Sebastian. It's your boy Law. And your boy Tone from across the hall. Your three favorite nerds are back with another creative series episode. Today we have with us the one, the only awesome team. Yeah, this is it's a big mix right here. We yeah. have the Hashira yeah. squad cast today. Yes. Yeah. We've been evaded. <laughs> what is what is going on, guys? How are you today? Yo, we're shaking, what's up? we're shaking, we're shaking. Yeah, it's like we've we've had bits and pieces of the squad, you know. Yeah, and, man. So it's nice to have everybody on in one in one shot. Right. Yeah. It's good to be here. So <laughs> no, no pressure. We're yeah, not going to put anyone on the hot seat. seat. You know, you guys are in the hot seat because we're going to start with the best question, our normal question, our, our favorite question. We want to find out because we know Miles Morales has his origin story. We know Peter Parker Ooh. has his origin story. We know Goku loves sensu beans. But we want to find out what is the Hashira <laughs> podcast origin story. So whoever wants to go first, take it away. Just a note on that. He likes giving sensu beans to his enemies. Anyway, um, go he ahead. Does. <laughs> he does. He does. He would have gave it to Thanos and the glove with all the stones. Just be yeah. like, yo, <laughs> and be like, let me see what you got. <laughs> Ryan, you, you're going to have to take, you have to take the seat on this one because your house, your area was the center point of everyone. So It's true. I'm almost tempted to like do like a game of telephone where like someone starts the story, keeps it going, keeps it going. <laughs> and I want to see like where people are like, nah, 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 that's not how it went down, man. That's not how it went down. Challenge accepted. <laughs> All right. So um <laughs> say less. <laughs> the challenge exact right, Kareem? Say less. <laughs> say less. So um all right. So I guess uh, I start this off uh, very simply, I guess. Um so um I met uh all of them uh in well, except for Travis, obviously, my brother. So I, mean. I knew Travis before. That. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of them, but the rest of these guys, I met when I was in third grade. Uh, so it was about seven going, uh, seven going on eight. Um, that's when I met them, and we are, we pretty much were playing kickball, and I was trash. And um, <laughs> I tell the truth, I was trash. I was, I was, I was the. Now you least... glamorize the story for people. <laughs> no, <laughs> Listen, can't glamorize it. Came up to kick, everyone would just shift over to third base. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was that kid. Everyone, oh, yeah. Maurice is up. Okay, let's just shift over. Oh, yeah, just, don't, every don't time. Really so the one time I kicked over the face, the fence, and I felt really good about it. I was like, let's mm. go. Anyway, so um, but yeah, that's the thing. So we met. Uh, we we realized that. Well, I realized they liked um anime stuff because we used to collect Pokemon cards early. That was I was kind of our first kind of clicking thing was Pokemon cards, collecting Pokemon cards, trading Pokemon cards, stuff like that. And then after a while, we would always talk about whatever show we was watching. And before we knew that it was called anime. Right. They were just shows on TV we were talking about because right. I always make jokes with Tommy about how long ago we were watching One Piece. <laughs> and, like, right. and, you know, <laughs> say we were watching One Piece was on, on, on Channel 5. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo. Right. Anyway. So, um, <laughs> oh, and that's oh, we kind of got into. <laughs> so we was always talking about anime and stuff like that, like for a long time. And of course, as we got older, you know, together, we kind of kept that going. My house, is, as Kadeem said, was a center point. We were all at my house all the time. For a long time <laughs> after mm. school, for, every day, yeah, every day, yeah, like it didn't even morning to night time, bro, all the way in through mm -hmm. until, until my mom was like, "Don't y'all gotta go home, folks?" You know, something <laughs> like that. <laughs> um, I guess you know. So really, again, like bringing it all the way back to like Maurice and I before we even knew, you know, Tom and Kadim and Ed, we was watching anime. Uh, our dad would bring home Dragon Ball Z um, tapes. And, um, you know, we were still using DirecTV at that time. And uh, we was, yeah, and we was like, there was this one, there was this one channel where like they showed anime at a certain time period. Mm. And it, it's just whenever we could get our hands on something foreign, it, you know, like I'm not even gonna talk about anime. Like it's not only anime, mm. foreign in general. And our dad actually has like a lot of first edition comic books yeah. that he would never want us to touch. Like some serious stuff, like in plastic still, you know what I'm saying? So. Who knows how much those things are worth? Uh, might have to rack in on that just in case later on. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, go check them out. Like, and then, like, here, so. yeah, exactly. And then, like, years later, you know, you know, the universe blessed us with some good friends, and uh, we came across Ed, Tom, Kadeem, uh, more so Maurice than myself, because I was going to a different school, and uh, you know, I just like enjoyed specific things like cards. Um, I know a big thing that I met Tommy with. A big thing that Tommy and I connected on was Beyblades. 
<laughs> that, was big, wow. that was a big thing for for me to connect you know like i think everybody had this specific thing that they connected with somebody else with so mm. um beyblading was something i connected with tommy with in general um and then ed made me laugh about anime uh when he said that anime because i think we were watching a lot of the old school stuff so he's like yo <laughs> Why do their heads never move <laughs> when they're talking? And I was just like, what? And yeah, I just be there, like... and then all of a sudden, they just turn, <laughs> and then they like turn again. I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, it was the greatness of the '90s. Anyway. See that now. <laughs> oh, and uh, you know, collecting cards and everything, and playing. It, it, you know, I think you Hawker Show was introduced. I don't know. I think maybe Tom and our friend Chad, shout out to Chad, brought it in there. Um, the and card game. Pokemon, Say again? Yeah, the card game. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. We were playing that for a while. Yeah, we were playing that for a good amount of time. And and anything we can get our hands on that was, like, again, I'll say it foreign. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we just enjoyed things that, like, we even collected cards that were in Japanese, though. And uh, oh, we would yeah. look those up to, like, just try our best to, like, you know. Use read them and feel like exactly like we were cool yeah, like we were there <laughs> i you did know. that with Yu-Gi-Oh cards i had some japanese Yu-Gi-Oh oh, cards yeah, and i had that, and i had the translations next to me so people knew i wasn't bullshitting them <laughs> word <laughs> and I, and I we answered, did the same thing did the I same think, thing i think one of the things that i think even you guys could connect with this too uh, is just like being you know like being like you know um colored folk from the bronx you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying so like a lot of that stuff is like when you're trying to escape a, a good amount of stuff that's on the outside you know video games um if you like wwf slash wwe you know like all, all those things oh yeah brought us together so like it's just being in this specific place and trying to be not trying to be different but being different from your surroundings mm-hmm. and like just engaging with those things that you you feel more connected to as opposed to like a lot of the the stuff that was around us you know what i mean so like that's that's what that's the story for me on my end wow. it was a point it was a point in time where um I stopped, I stopped talking to, like, I stopped talking to them, like, for, what, I'm gonna say, like, four years, four years. Three, like, three, four mm-hmm. years, mm-hmm. and it was a day, like, I just, I just magically, magically chose, man, listen, I'm not going to school, man, I'm, I'm gonna just stay home, so I stayed home, and I said, it, it's just crazy, because I was like, I right, let me go to the store, literally, like, the store was, like, on the corner, like, I, I could just walk out and just walk to the store, so I'm walking to the store, I see some guy walking down the block, so I'm like, yo, wait, why does it look like Maurice? I'm like, wait, hold on. It's, it's like 11 guy. in the morning. And I was like, yo, Maurice, you look creep. <laughs> no. <laughs> so from then, it was like, boom. Like, you know, we kicked off. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, um, he came in the house and he seen I had Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yep. So I was like, what? You play, bro? Yu-Gi-Oh? I was, hmm. like, I was like, I don't play when I got the cards. <laughs> he was like, yo, come through. We, we play, uh, you know, me, Tom, Ed. I was like, word. I went over there. Everyone is there. Hmm. So, Ian, Tom, Phil, um, the house is huge. Pat, it, it was packed, and like when I mean like it was jokes galore. Hmm. We ah. were we were dragons then before dragons then. Yeah, Ooh, nice. yeah, pretty much. Nice. <laughs> dragons then was a spot too. It really was. It was. It really was. Pour, pour one out Zen. for dragons then, man. You know, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, man. I spent I spent allowance money on Pokemon cards in dragons then. <laughs> oh, dragons. Oh uh, man, they're overpriced cards in there. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you, <laughs> you look, you look, at, you look at the first edition Charizard and like one day. <laughs> <laughs> no, the worst part was Ed. Didn't you have one? Can we not talk about that? Ed had one. Ed had a first edition wait, wait. Charizard. Yo, oh, wait, 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 Ed, Yo, you know what's a, 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 Did also the cards right get messed up or? Nah, Ed, did you did you, did you ever see what? did you ever see that episode of Pawn Stars where the guy took all his first edition Charizards? I, I damn bro, I feel your pain right now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know, man. You know what it was a word? I was young. I didn't know anything oh, then. Much so, much right. now. Now. so I think we're passing it to Ed right now. Oh, pick shit. up, pick up, <laughs> pick up <laughs> from there. Let us know All about right, this so, Charizard um, of yours. I was looking at like because this kid offered me like four holographics for it. So I was looking at the number, like, oh, I'm trading like one for four. And I don't know, to me at the time it sounded like a good idea to do. <laughs> so I did Disclaimer, it. I, mean, I we hope were the like, card we is like still... nine. Yeah, it's word. Like a, I, I, I ripped a kid. I ripped a kid for his Charizard card, man. To this day, I feel bad. I gave I gave him twenty five <laughs> stickers for his oh, Charizard card. Wow. Not even twenty five dollars. Twenty five stickers. Off. You dragons then by yourself. <laughs> you dragons. <laughs> by yourself. He said you dragons then by yourself. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, it was bad. It was oh, really man. bad. When did you guys decide to form the Hushira podcast? When was it that you like, yo? I was still not. 
present in New York. I was living over here in Ohio. Maurice had mentioned a podcast and we were just, it was just like an on and off topic for a while, like in our group chat. Right. And then I guess it, it all came to fruition because of uh, the pandemic pretty much. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's when we all decided to take it more seriously. Maurice, I mean, he pretty much is the organizer of everything. And um, I guess we were just kind of deciding on a name for a little bit, uh, the logo, and then we just went from there. We just picked a topic. I mean, obviously, it's really easy. We've known each other for so long, so we can just sit there and talk as we would talk off screen, yeah, right. on screen. It doesn't really matter. I kind of also wanted to elaborate on what Travis was saying, like, especially growing up in the Bronx, being young guys and all the things that we were surrounded with. I mean, mm. we've all could have fell into some, I guess, some dark times. I, I guess that's the best way to put it or, mm. you know, gone in the opposite direction. And it's just really cool that we all met in elementary school. And then we just we all clicked. And like I said, uh, it just went from there. We had enough people to always do something. We didn't have to find other people on the outside. Like we would go to Van Colton Park and it would just be a bunch of us to play baseball. We always had enough people mm -hmm. to do things. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'd uh, sit outside to like until the sun came up playing Halo Multiple split days. screen. Yeah, yeah wait, we're a system wait, link. Wait. Oh, oh <laughs> right. okay, okay, okay. So, because yeah, I, I love system link was the shit. Who was the oh, screen yeah. watcher? Who was the screen watcher of the group? Bill. No, yo, no, it was Bill, two, it was Bill, two separate teams. Bill, no. but, Bill, yo, Phil, it's it two separate TVs. That's why we did it like that. Two yo, separate yo, teams. Bill used and a dead screen. Two, two I was bad. Four four. I was Bill I was Phil. really bad at screen washing. It was yeah. really bad. You guys formed this podcast. You formed the podcast, the Hashira podcast. Again, I can't stress to the viewers and the listeners out there how much it it is that you're listening to a family talking about their favorite subject. Uh, what is the future that you guys are looking to for the Hashira podcast? What do you see it now five years from now? And also to um, what are the creative avenues are you guys working on? I do want, however, us to do uh, more content and actually be in a group space together again. Obviously, once this is going down, which is why I'm buying a house and I built uh, this PC sitting next to me. It's this, this unnecessarily powerful thing that I built during the worst climate to build a PC ever because uh, my graphics card anyway. But but yeah, so um, that's why I did that. That's why I'm buying a house to get the space that we can sit down and really have these conversations and stuff like that again for us to be able to do live reactions to watching kind of some shows and stuff like that together. And I also, you know, and just learning that some shows on Amazon Prime, if it's an anime on Amazon Prime, you can actually stream it on Twitch because obviously they're affiliated. So we can actually do actual um you know, kind of, res or what's the thing? Somebody help me, I can't English. Oh my God. Reaction videos, thank you. Mm -hmm. So like anime and stuff like that and just having conversations and stuff like that. I think that we get to grow into being a group of people that people come to have actual nerd conversations with. And I want to kind of just be playing video games in the background while people are talking to everybody else who's not playing at the same time to have those conversations about anime, nerd stuff and nerddom while two guys are playing Street Fighter and everybody else is watching and just talking to the chat and interacting and get to a point where I can pay these guys what they deserve to be paid for doing the things they do and being my brothers in a real way that we can really take this out and just kind of blow up with that and stuff of that nature. Um, I'm also a musician, as you guys know, I have my own band and I'm doing covers for music that I want to also put as one of the kind of avenues on the hospital podcast for like music stuff. And I want to do that as well. So just a, a bunch of different things that I'm looking forward to getting into and really doing with the, the group and stuff like that, even hosting some fighting game tournaments, because I kind of like I'm branched out into the FGC now, which is the fighting game community. I know a lot of people over there and um, kind of the guys who run the East Coast for fighting game tournaments since the coronavirus happened they've been mm -hmm. running it so i'm trying to get into like that sort of stuff, putting our name out there so people kind of always know where to come back to just to have these conversations with us so that's kind of there you go that's my, my my some of the goals and visions that i have for me and my family do you want to uh, mention that prototype that uh zoo showed you or um actually i do so we made 100 subs thanks to you which is kind of funny right thanks thanks shout out to shout out to law right yeah, and well. um <laughs> we have a good friend of ours who's been into making apparel forever and um Shout outs to the homie Jesus, a kid named Zeus, that is. And he made a shirt to celebrate hoodie. that for us as a hoodie. And um, show the other oh, side. that's fire. <laughs> that's show, the, show, show, the, show the actual logo there. Show, show the logo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dope. And, okay. Uh, I'll share a podcast logo. So we that was merch. We might have merch. We might have merch. So that's, that's, that's really cool <laughs> and stuff like that. I just wanted to. Wanna... So again, see, I know my brother, right? And I know me. And the reason that we started live streaming is because Kadeem said that on an actual episode that I put on YouTube. And since he said we were going to do it and my name was attached to it, it had to happen to me. <laughs> I, I was like, you can't say I'm a, no one's going to tell me. I don't I don't say things I'm going to do and not do that. that that's that's Word, a, and, nope. and Tom just happen. spoke that hoodie into existence, man. Well, you knew about that. A couple episodes. Tommy was like, yeah, we should <laughs> well, what do you guys think about episode. merch. Boom. Merch. 
And like we had a big group of friends, like we said, and they would like try to hide and throw their cards so no none of the girls could see. One time the girls came up without announcing themselves, and like you just see a deck fly across the living room because we were trying to hide the, the whole deck. You don't think it's the just the picture. Man, the I'll never forget deck. that, man. It's just the picture. Like girls are coming in, and instead it's not even like dudes like drinking or smoking or nah, it's just a bunch of homies just fucking Yu Gi Oh cards. Exactly. Get rid of the cards. And they're like, the they're like, cards. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everybody, like, everybody's trying to hide their cards and move their cards. And I sat at the table. I didn't move mine at all. I did not at it. My deck sat right there. I was in the middle of playing. I think I was playing the dragon deck. I was about <laughs> to summon. I was about to summon my, my red-ass darkness metal dragon. And I didn't move my cards at all. I was like, I don't, what is that? What are we doing? I don't I can kill us. This match we, ain't I, stopping. I don't know what I'm committed. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you lost because you threw your deck. I'm not losing. Yeah, well, <laughs> I was like, I I somebody, yo, my yo, if I'm not mistaken, I think somebody hit the lights too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yo. So, I want to put you guys in the scenario, and I'm gonna par- I'm I'm actually kind of borrowing this from like um, Cast the Craze when they you know they they, they threw me under the bus with this one. Um, <laughs> so you guys are competing in a Royal Rumble WWE Royal Rumble. <laughs> um, who is getting eliminated first, and who is going to be the last man standing? <laughs> I would have been out first. Here we go. Demon's out first because he thinks he's tough. So we're going to jump his ass and throw him out first. 